Hi there. So I'm just here to talk to you a little bit about Folk Soul, which is a piece by Judy Thomas, and I think it's an amazing piece. It obviously, it's full of detail and, and colour. But what's this guy doing here? You know, he looks like someone who's being kind of looked at, but he's relaxed and he's calm, and he almost looks resigned, like like he's in the zoo. And, um, you know, I really like that this kind of aspect is there in Judy's work. She does this in other pieces as well. She, When she talks about women sometimes, she's bringing this awareness to our attention that people in the pictures are being looked at. And uh, so he, this guy's not just staring into the distance. He knows our attention is here. And yet he's highly decorated. He certainly doesn't look like a regular South African. He's got all this adornment. Like a tra He do, looks a little bit like a traditional piece of uh, tribal art that you might buy in a tourist shop in South Africa. All these fine swirls and feather-looking details. He's almost over-decorated. So we have these two things, the elaborate decoration and the fact that we know he's being looked at uh, and being on display. So Folk Soul becomes not just a great artwork, but the condition that black culture often finds itself in, dressed up for consumption. And only the piece in this, uh, the bit in the, picture, in the piece that's really alive, I think, are his eyes. And you can almost imagine them moving independently of the rest of the picture. So somewhere imprisoned within the, within the rich decoration of his commodification, these rich, calm eyes cast a sort of rich human experience over the whole piece. 